Vanessa even appeared in Michael Jackson's classic song, You Are Not Alone. Then forever can begin. The king's daughter famously wed the king of pop in a secret ceremony in the Dominican Republic. He said, what would you do if I asked you to marry me? And I said, I would. She later opened up to ABC's Diane Sawyer about being in love with Michael. He's amazing. I really admire him. I respect him. I admire him. I'm in love with him. Lisa Marie would go on to call the marriage, which lasted two years, the biggest mistake of her life. She'd married Michael less than three weeks after her divorce from actor Danny Keough. Lisa Marie tied the knot with Danny in 1988, when she was just 20 years old. A year later, they had daughter Riley, followed by son Benjamin. Even though they divorced after two years, they remained lifelong friends. In fact, she was reportedly living with Danny since their son's suicide, and he was the one who performed CPR on Lisa Marie until paramedics arrived. In 2002, she married Oscar winner Nicolas Cage. They reportedly met when she was engaged to musician John Ozaka, and he was still married to Patricia Arquette. Nick confessed to Barbara Walters that it was love at first sight. She looks up, up at me with these big, beautiful, soulful eyes, and I was thunderstruck. Their whirlwind romance lasted just 107 days. Nick released a statement to Extra saying, Lisa had the greatest laugh of anyone I ever met. She lit up every room, and I'm heartbroken. Lisa Marie's final marriage was to guitarist Michael Lockwood in 2006. Her first husband served as best man. Their decade-long marriage resulted in twin daughters Harper and Finley. They ultimately split and finalized their divorce last year. From the men in her life to the Presley women who famously did Vogue nearly 20 years ago. Rachel, you actually talked to all three of them not too long ago. Yes, Jen, they were all together last summer and their bond was clear. It's such a big deal for us and we're happy to be here and together. It means a lot to us. That was Lisa Marie and daughter Riley at her side. They joined Priscilla in imprinting their family history with their hands and feet at the famed Chinese theater in Hollywood. Three generations cemented in this place forever. Talk about the emotion behind that. It's just such an incredible honor and it was it's so lovely and we're so full of gratitude about it. But Lisa Marie revealed on the talk back in 2013 that there wasn't always happiness between mother and daughter. I really gave it to my mom pretty badly, I felt. She said she grew up with a dad who was loose and easygoing, and a mom who was... Completely the opposite. She was really strict. It made us not get close for a very long time. We are now very close, but when I was younger, it was, like, difficult to have a relationship with somebody that's got you like that around the neck all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so with Riley, I kind of realized I have to sort of play friend and parent. I'm trying to navigate that one a little bit. But Lisa Marie did inherit an important trait from Priscilla. Although I have my mom's strength, I think. Now, Priscilla and Riley will need all their strength to get through this.